Welcome to section 5 Building and Publishing on Android and iOS. In this section, we're gonna learn how we can change our build targets and build for different platforms. Then, we're gonna learn how we can set up our project for Android build. Then, we're gonna learn how we can publish on Google Play Store. And finally, we're gonna learn how we can publish our app on iOS. So, let's get started. So, in this first video, setting up and building for android we're gonna learn how we can change build target to android then we're gonna learn how we to edit the player settings and finally we're gonna build an apk for our project so currently i'm inside the unity editor and i have also opened up the unity hub so let's see how we can install the necessary things for building for android so as you can see here i have a build and from here i can select this and click on add component and from here i want to install android build support as well as android sdk and ndk tools so this will automatically install all the things that we need to build for android and you can also install it while installing your version for the first time but here i have installed it already and then i can add anything that i want so if you want to install it in another way there's another way by which you can install you can go to edit and preferences from there if you go to external tools you can see we have this option to install sdk and if you click on simply this download button you will see that it will be automatically opened in your browser and it will be opening this android studio download page now from here you can download the android studio whole package and it will automatically download the android studio and android sdk tools everything that you need and then you only need to give the link to it in your unity editor preferences so after installing you can simply give your link at this point so currently as you can see i have already given my link in this location that means here i have my android sdk installed so once you have done that once you have installed the Android build support as well as set up the Android SDK, you are ready to change your build target. So now you need to go to File, Build Settings, and from here you need to select Android. And you will not see this option if you have not installed the Android build support. After that, you need to simply click on Switch Platform and it will switch our scene from current platform to Android platform. So currently our project has been successfully converted into an Android project. On the top you can see here we have Android written. That means our current platform that we are building for is Android. So let me go ahead and close this option. And now from the game tab as you can see free aspect written. So from here we need to select the resolution for our game again. So I'm going to go here and as you can see we have this 1920 by 1080 landscape and 1920 by 1080 portrait so we're going to select this 1920 by 1080 portrait and it will take the resolution that we had before for which we built our game so now we have set up the resolution and we have also changed our build platform now we need to change the player settings so let's go to file build settings and from here we can simply click on this player settings and on the right side you'll be able to see all the player settings that we have here now first of all let's change the company name to any company name that you have i'm going to change it to charger games that's my company name then you can change the name of the game after that the version and after that you can select any icon that you want to set as the icon of your game you can simply select any of the icons from here let's say i select this walking icon so this will be the icon for my game after that here we have some android specific settings you can select your icon you can select your resolution and now as you can see here we have this auto rotation selected for default orientation but we don't want that so we can simply select it as portrait that means we want our resolution or we want our default orientation to be on portrait mode after that if you go to this other settings from here you can see we have this package name and this is very important and this is must so here you have to give a unique package name to your app otherwise it will not be unique and google play will give you an error while uploading it 
So here you need to write anything unique. So I'm gonna write com dot charger games dot dodging dog. So you can simply write the name of your domain in reverse order and after that you can simply write the name of your app. After that as you can see here we have the version number and the bundle version code. So when you create an updated version of your app, you need to simply increment this version number as well as this bundle version code and you'll be good to go. So now that we have set all these things up and we have done all these things, we need to go to this publishing setting. And as you can see here, we have something called Key Store. And this is very important if you want to publish for Google Play Store. And if you don't want to publish to Google Play Store, then this is not important at all. But here we're gonna set it up so that we can publish it on Google Play Store. To do that, we're gonna select this create a new key store button. And now we can come to this key and alias option. And from here, we can simply select this unsigned debug. As you can see, it is already selected. So what we can do is we can simply click on this browse key store. This will give us an option to save our key store at some place. So let's say we save it here named dodging dog and then I'm going to click on save. And after that, we're going to come here and create a key store password. So here I'm going to give, let's say a random password, anything that I want. And then here as well, I'm going to give a random password but both of them should be same. After that, from the alias, we're gonna click on create a new key. And this will give us option to create a brand new key store for our game. So now here on the alias, I'm gonna give dodging dog. You can give it name according to your own app or own game. Then here we need to write the same password that we have given before. So here I'm gonna write the same password and the same password one more time and then validity 50 years or anything that you want to give then here we can write the first and last name i write my name here and then here we can write other informations as well like your city and state or everything and if you click on create key as you can see it will create a new key store file for your game so now next time whenever you create an updated version of your game you need to submit the same key store file and you need to sign your app with the same key store file. Otherwise, you will not be able to update your game on Google Play Store. So you need to keep this key store file safely with you. So now that we have done all the necessary things, we can simply click on this build and it will create a build for us. So let's click on build. And now here I'm going to click create a new folder called builds. And inside the builds folder, I'm going to create a new APK file and I will name it dodging dog. And then I'm going to simply click on save. And now you will see it will go ahead and build your APK for the version that we want. And as you can see here, it says update Android SDK because we have this problem. So what we can do is we can simply click on update Android SDK and it will automatically take us to the Android SDK page or you can click on this use highest installed and it will use the highest installed APK. So now as you can see we have successfully built our app and our new APK file has been generated here. So this is all we wanted to do in this video and we have successfully done that.